Hi, in this video I'll describe how my team uses a master program in the FLL robot game and how to program it. A master program allows you to quickly select a program on your EV3 brick, which can save you a lot of time in the robot game. When you switch between trips from base, all you need to do is swap the attachments and then press go since the master program already stepped to the next program. I'll run our master program with five simple tone programs to show how it works. The current program to run is in the middle of the display. The previous program is shown above it and the next program is below it. Selecting the bottom button makes the next program become the current program. The top button makes the previous program become the current program. Selecting the middle button runs the current program. After running a program, the next program is automatically displayed as the current program. In a robot game, you just need to select the middle button at the start of each trip from base. No more searching for your next program. Now I'll show you how to program the master program. I'll start by making five example my blocks that represent different trip programs the robot would want when it leaves base in the robot game. The first trip program will play one tone using a sound block in play tone mode. It will play a D sharp tone for 0.2 seconds. I'll select it and make it a my block using the my block builder tool and call it one tone. I'll copy the first trip sound block and paste it into the second program. It has a loop that loops twice and a wait of 0.1 seconds after each tone. I'll make that a my block with names two tones. Three tones, four tones, and five tones my blocks are copied of the two tones my block, but with loop counts of three, four, and five. Now we'll program the master program. The run trip variable will tell the program whether to run a program and is initialized to false. The trip number variable has the current trip number and is initialized to one. The program has three major parts inside of an outer loop. We set the outer loop to run unlimited. The inner loop has two switch blocks. The first switch block switches on the trip number and is used to display text on the brick screen. Three rows of text are placed in a grid with the Y grid values stored in top row Y, middle row Y, and bottom row Y variables. The top row is in a grid Y row 2, the middle row is in a grid Y row 6, and the bottom row is in a grid Y row 10. The switch block has a case for each of the five trip programs. In the first case, we display one tone in the middle and two tones on the bottom of the screen using display blocks in text grid mode. I type one tone in the text box of the first display block and two tones for the second display block. The first display block of each case has its clear screen parameter set to true. It is set to false for the second and third display blocks of a case. The X column is set to zero for all display blocks. The Y column of the one tone display is set to the middle row Y value using a wire. The Y column of two tones is set using bottom row Y. The color parameter is set to false. The font is set to one for the top and the bottom row text and two for the middle row text. So the font is set to 2 for 1 tone and to 1 for 2 tones. The second, third, and fourth cases have three display blocks. For the second case, I'll copy the first case and add the third display block. One tone is in the top row, two tones is in the middle row, and three tones is on the bottom row. The Y column parameters are specified using the top row Y, middle row Y, and bottom row Y variables. Again, the font is set to 1 for the top and bottom row text and 2 for the middle row text. The third and fourth cases are similar to the second case, but with the trip program names moving up by one row with each case. I'll just copy the second case and make the changes. The fifth case has two display blocks. Four tones is in the top row and five tones is in the middle row. After the first switch block, we have a wait block in change brick buttons mode. The second switch block is in the measure brick buttons mode. I'll create four cases. The first case is for selection of the middle button. 
In this case, the run trip variable is set to true. The second case is for selection of the bottom buttons. Run trip is set to false and a math block increments trip number by one. A compare block checks if the trip number is greater than five with the result becoming the input to a switch block in logic mode. If true, then the trip number is set to five. The third case is for selection of the top buttons. Run trip is set to false and the math block decrements trip number by one. A compare block checks if the trip number is less than one with the result becoming the input to a switch block in logic mode. If true, then the trip number is set to one. The fourth case is set as the default case and run trip is set to false. The inner loop is in logic mode and exits if the run trip parameter is set to true. When the program exits the inner loop, it runs a trip program. We reset the gyro sensor before starting a new trip from base. A switch block set to numerical mode switches on the trip number variable. I make five cases for the five trip programs and then put the one tone my block in case one, two tones in case two, and so on till five tones in case five. After a trip completes, a math block is used to increment the trip number variable by one. A compare block checks if the trip number is greater than five, with the result becoming the input to a switch block in logic mode. If true, then the trip number is set to five. The master program is ready to go. Let's test it. The seconds we saved using this master program were needed to win the first place robot performance award at the 2018 Los Angeles Region Championship Tournament. Our winning points came with only a few seconds left. Watch our other videos to learn how we use advanced EB3 programming concepts like acceleration and PID control for accurate driving, turning, and line following. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to click on the bell to get notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!